Hi, this is Roland, Barbecue Smoker Pros, Brasselton, Georgia. And today we're gonna go over the chicken flipper. We've had a couple pit masters ask for us to demo it and explain the whole process. Now think of it more than just a chicken flipper. I mean, in here you open it up and this will fit approximately a case of chicken, but it's great for hamburgers, hot dogs, salmon, shish kebabs. So sometimes when I use the word chicken flipper, it, it limits it, but it's not, it's, it's a grill. So you put your food inside here, and when you get this, you would be seasoning this with vegetable oil, canola oil, oil. give it a spray. Do not use peanut oil, because every 10-year-old boy, seems like every 10-year-old boy or girl in America is allergic to peanuts, and we don't want anybody getting uh, anaphylactic shock here. So you put your chicken inside here. Just take this, close it down, it's going to be hard to do a little bit with one hand, but I'll do my best. You bring this up and right over here, and again, I'm doing it with one hand, you flip this over and you lock that in place. And you do the same thing on the other side. Bring it over, open it, and lock it in place. You can see how now your chicken, your fish, your hamburgers, your hot dogs is trapped in there and you can then flip it just like a regular grill. You have the option when it comes over to pull out a spring pin so now it's totally locked in place. And again, it can be used just as a regular grill the way it is right now. You can put your hamburgers and hot dogs right on top, your chicken right on top. Now when your food has been here for a couple of minutes, let's say 15, 20 minutes, and it seems to be done on this side. Just pull this out. Let me use my other hand because I am not that strong. I hurt my left shoulder. Just grab your handle and flip it over to the other side and lock it in place. I mean, that's how simple it is to do your chicken. Now again, this is a dome lid which other people don't have, they have a flat lid. This is a dome lid, so this will keep in the moisture, the flavor, the steam. Down here, it makes your life very, very simple. You slide this out to load your charcoal and or firewood in here, and this is a three section compartment. We had another question here about heat distribution. Well, as you know, heat rises and radiates. So even though the main charcoal and firewood is in your main section, it still radiates out to the side. So we've never had problems with not cooking completely here. Slide that in. And down here is your simple ash pan. So it makes your life very, very simple. Easy to feed, easy to clean. The lid would be down. So this way you don't have to open the lid to put more charcoal or firewood in, which is the mistake of many chicken flippers. Because every time you open that up, you've just lost two to 300 degrees. You can load your charcoal and firewood right from here. Again, we've talked about the chimney on top. Some people don't have any chimneys or vents which doesn't make any sense to me you have to regulate your heat some people have vents and you can see it's been raining here for three weeks pretty much every day so if we had a vent here water would be leaking through the vent this is a chimney water is not going to leak through you don't have to worry about water or rain to go through and obviously you can open and close the vent to adjust your heat so I hope this gave a good explanation how this works. You can see here there's a lid holder. I mean, look at the wells on this. This is made out of 11 gauge steel. People ask what gauge it is. This is not some flimsy 14, 16 gauge steel. That will warp. So give us a call, a holler, Texas. Actually, one of my favorites right here. This is a pit boss. 
Over here is a pro pit master, a mega pit master, and this is a double hog over here. So give us a call, a holler, or a text so we can help design your perfect smoker for you and get you in the barbecue catering business. 770-866-2561. Barbecue on.